the point I'm trying to make is, why does God have it out for women so bad? I mean, these are his words, at least that's what we were told to believe, is that in the text that these are God's rules. In Christianity, we have the story of Adam and Eve. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the story starts with Adam and God in the Garden of Eden having a good time, just chilling, barbecuing two guys, watching football, Sunday nights, <laughs> shooting pool, having, hanging out, having a good time. God and Adam, best of friends, no problem. God notices that Adam is depressed. He's sad. He's moping around heaven and God's, you know, shooting pool and Adam doesn't feel like drinking a beer or and God notices that because God is omnipotent, which means he knows all. He sees all. He says, Adam, come over here for me. Let me talk to you. He says, before you say yes, something, Adam, I know what's wrong with you. Just give me your rib and I'll be right back. <laughs> Adam gives God his rib. God comes back, and he's with somebody else. And he says, Adam, I'd like to introduce you to Eve. And Adam's like, yo, God, yo, thank you for introducing me to this hot chick. Yo, I love her. Yo, she's so great. She's so beautiful. She's this, she's that. This is everything I ever wanted. And God's like, yo, <laughs> chill out, chill out, relax. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't show your hand too quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she's the only game in town for right now, so... This is, you got this. If you chill out, just relax, Adam. So God knows this too because God is, he knew what Adam's reaction was going to be because, again, he's omnipotent, which means he knows all, he sees all. God says, hey, you guys, I got to go away for a couple of days. Some business I got to take care of in another galaxy or universe, whatever God does. You know, so I don't know what, I don't want to pretend that I know what God does, but he obviously had to handle something. He had to go somewhere, so he left. Upon his return, he said, Hey, Adam, before I left, I told you not to mess with this thing over here. And Adam said, yeah, God, I know you told me don't fuck with that shit over there, but I, I, I fucked with it, and, you know. And God said, well, why? And he says, well, you know, Eve said it was a good idea. So God got mad at Adam. He says, well, yo, man, you can't control your bitch? Is that what your problem is? You mean to tell me I told you to do some shit? And I come back and you telling me the chick did it? Oh, man. God didn't like that shit. That's what the book says, at least. And God was surprised what occurred. It angered him. But it's hard for me to dial into that because, once again, God is omnipotent. It means he knows all. He sees all. So he knew that this was going to happen before it happened. So why did it happen? <laughs> Me, I think I have a different bit of a take on it. I don't think that that necessarily happened the way that it's written because I know that God is omnipotent. He knows all. He sees all. But that was his message to man that women can be so manipulative, so tricky, so, let me use a better word, complex, that they can even fool God. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good night, everybody. Have a good night. No, 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 no. Seriously, seriously.